physical for this preacher. Yes, yes, yes. Bless the Lord. But I promised the Lord that I would show up today. Oh, yes. 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 And so we're going to uh, invite your attention to First uh, Corinthians chapter 15. All right, take your time. All right. First Corinthians chapter 15. Amen. Not one Corinthian. But all first right, all right. Corinthians <laughs> chapter 15. Yeah. Right. Verses yeah, yeah, 1 yeah. through 4. Uh -huh. The first verse says, Moreover, brethren, mm -hmm. well, I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, uh -huh. which also you received in which you stand. Yes. Yes. 
Verse 2, by which also you are saved. Yeah. Yeah. If you hold fast to yeah. that word, yeah. which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. Yeah. Yeah. But look at verse 3, 5. Deliver to you, first of all, that which also received. That Christ died for our sins. Yeah. According to the scriptures. Yeah. Verse 4. And that he was buried. Yeah. And that he rose again. Yeah. The third day according to scripture. Yeah. The Greek text says that he was raised. Yeah. I'll say that again. He was raised. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He, was, he was raised. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. So I'm going to talk about he, he rose again. That seemed like a confusing subject. Again. Why not just say he rose? Amen. But the Greek text said he was raised. Somebody didn't say he got up. He was, he, he was raised. Oh, somebody say amen. Paul summarizes uh, God's activity in three statements. Christ died for our sins, yeah. was buried, yeah. and he rose again. Uh -huh. yeah. Many theologians feel uh, the words of verse 3 and 4 may have been used as a confession by believers yeah. at the time of their baptism. Well, Every time yeah, yeah. a new convert is baptized and come up, Amen. Jesus is rising again. Yeah. 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 somebody yeah. in the life of that believer. Yeah. Yeah. In a very condensed form, Paul focuses on the significance of the cross in salvation. Yeah. The reality of his death on our behalf, our hope in the resurrection. Yeah. But his reminding them of what the gospel was and what it meant in their lives were really leading up to the main point of the chapter. Yes. That of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes. Come on, help me here. Yes. Amen. Was an event that really took place whose implications uh -huh. were enormous. Right. His yes. death and his burial yes. are presented in the Arius tense. Yes of the Greek as a historical event. Yes. The resurrection is emphatically placed in the pre perfect tense as an abiding power. Well, Help me somebody. Yeah, yeah. Notice in verse 4 he says, and that he was buried. Yeah. It's also good news that Jesus Christ was buried. Yeah. And that for the three days and nights his body was in the tomb. The burial of Jesus is the good news. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Christ has not only paid the price yeah. for our sin, but just as he was buried in the tomb oh, yeah. for our sins have been put away. Uh -huh. They have been buried. Yeah. So it's good news that Jesus died on the cross yeah. for our sins. Yeah. Right. It's also good news that Jesus Christ was body was buried in the tomb. Yeah. It didn't say death was buried, but yeah. Jesus yeah. was buried. Yeah. Y'all gonna help me here. Yeah. Look at verse 4 again and see what kind of punctuation marks you have after the statement, he was buried. Yeah. Are y'all with me here? Yeah. Amen. He was buried. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, and it says, and that he was buried. Yeah. What the punctuation mark in your Bible, what is the mark, punctuation mark in your Bible after the word bird? Well, Amen. It's a period or a comma. Yeah. Depending on the translation. Yeah. Yeah. It's a comma. If it were a period there, well, that would be, that wouldn't be any good news that Jesus died yeah. and that he was buried. Yeah. Help me somebody. Yeah. And that he rose again. That is good news if Jesus Christ died. And if he was buried, if somewhere today the remains of the Lord Jesus Christ are in a tomb. The story of the gospel is the good news that Christ died, comma, 
and that Christ was buried, comma, yeah. and that he rose again. Yeah. Yeah. Come right. on, help me here. Yeah. Right. The good news of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, these three words, he rose again, yeah. is really what makes the good news. Yeah. The good news, yeah. he rose again. Yeah. 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 He died, but he rose again. Yeah. There is no good news in a dead leader. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, who's still dead. Y'all help me here. I don't want to mess with somebody. I might as well say it's in my spirit. We wear crosses with Jesus hanging on. But he's not on the cross anymore. They took him down. He died. They took him down, buried him. And he got up. Come on, come on, come on. Understand your theology today. Amen. I'm not going to be long today. Amen. Uh, uh, in fact, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 makes it very clear that Jesus Christ is not alive if Jesus is dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. not dead. Yeah. Then we don't have any good news if he's dead. Yeah. Look at verse 14. And if Christ be not risen, uh -huh. then our preaching is empty. Yeah. And your faith is empty. Yeah. It is saying that if Jesus is not alive, yeah. if he's still dead, Matthew, yeah. I'm wasting my time this morning. Yeah. For being yeah. here. Come on now. Yeah. The fact of the matter, you got up this morning. I'm talking, you got up yeah. this morning. Yeah. You dressed yourself. Yeah. You're driven down to the service today. That's right. You're sitting here and you've been singing praise songs. Yeah. You've offered some prayers. Yeah. The whole thing is a waste yeah. and really had no meaning whatsoever yeah. if Jesus Christ is not risen from the dead. Right. If Jesus yeah. is not dead, yeah. help me somebody, yeah. then you don't have any hope for the sin problem. Yeah. If Jesus is not alive, yeah. you don't have an answer to life's dilemma. Yeah. You have nothing that can deal with the sins of your life. Yeah. But that's good news. Yeah. And just the fact that Jesus died. Yeah. He was buried. Yeah. If these three words, he arose again, are not true. Yeah. Then the Bible is not true. Yeah. Come on, help me here. Yeah. These three words give us the unavoidable fact that he rose again. Yeah. Now, 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 Camille, what does that mean? Yeah. This means that the living Christ uh -huh. can say to the tomb, stop me. Yeah. It means the living Christ can speak to science and say, explain me. Yeah. The living Christ can say to technology, duplicate me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The living Christ can say to unbelief, disprove me. Yeah. Living Christ can say to history, repeat me. Yeah. Don't have a witness. Yeah. But the living Christ can also Say to the church, proclaim me. The living Christ can say you and me, believe me, that I'm no longer dead. Come on, help me up in here. Amen. These three words are words that cause hope to spring in our hearts. Their words, he rose again, give us the good news. That when this life is over, that is a better, more wonderful life than just before. Amen. Don't have a witness. Amen. Look at it. Let me break it down. Three things. First of all, it's personal. Yeah. He rose again. That's right. Are y'all with me? I said it's personal yeah, 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 yeah. that he rose again. Yeah. It's personal to the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Even if you haven't grasped it. Yeah. And because the personal Jesus is personal to me. That's right. It is something personal about Jesus. Say, He rose again. Yeah. The He in the text uh -huh. refers to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who is the, the same Jesus yeah. that was born of a virgin? Yeah. Right. Same Jesus yeah. lived a perfect life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same Jesus yeah. who died on that cross. Yeah. The same Jesus buried in the tomb. The same Jesus rose again. It's very personal right to the Lord. Yeah. And it's personal to God. Right when it says Jesus rose again, it means that 
He had vindicated his word. Jesus gave two illustrations in the text. He said in John 2, 19, destroy this body. And in three days, I rise it up again. Do y'all hear me? He said, I will raise it up again. He talking to his body. He didn't say, I'll get up, but I'll raise my body up. Are y'all with me? He was talking about the resurrection. Then he said in Matthew 12, 40, for Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish. So the son of man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. It's personal. Come on, say it's personal. Either it's true or it's not. It's personal. Are y'all with me? Matthew 28 and 6 say, for he's risen as he said. Do I have a witness? He kept his word. He did what he said. The Lord Jesus said, you will bury me, but in three days later, I'll rise again. He kept his word. Resurrection vindicates the word of Jesus. It vindicates the work on the cross. And we believe Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Do I have a witness? 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 God made him yeah. who knew no sin yeah. uh, to be sin for us yeah. that we might become yeah. the righteousness yeah. of God in him. Yeah. Romans 5 and 8 say but God yeah. demonstrates yeah. his own love yeah. toward us yeah. in that why we were still sinners. Christ died for our sin. He didn't say get yourself ready. Clean yourself up. Stop doing what you're doing. But while we were still sinners, he died. Say he died. We don't say that enough. He died. Come on, say he died. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says he died. Yeah. For us. Yeah. Jesus died and was buried. Yeah. And the Bible said and that he rose again. Yeah. I can imagine when Jesus shed blood on the cross of Calvary. Yeah. That blood. Yeah. Precious blood. Yeah. Of the Lord was carried up into the Holy of Holies. Yeah. In heaven. Yeah. And the question is, is this blood sufficient? Yeah. It's a big question. Yeah. Don't have a witness. Yeah. And I can imagine they uh, uh, they want to know if the penalty yeah. that Jesus paid uh -huh. is enough. Yeah. It's a big question. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they can't they can't rush through it. Yeah. They're gonna take three days yeah. and three nights yeah. to examine the blood. Yeah. Say amen. amen. All the angels come and they examine. The price yeah. that Jesus paid for our sin. Yeah. And the angels cried out, it is sufficient. Yeah. Say amen. amen. All of the saints of the Old Testament time yes, who were saved on credit yeah. and lived uh, in heaven yeah. on the basis of the death, the burial, and the resurrection yeah. of Jesus. They came by yeah. and they examined the blood. Yeah. Do I have a witness? Yeah. And they all shouted out with one accord, it is sufficient. Yeah. Do I have a witness? Yeah. The Heavenly Father comes by. Yeah. Uh, uh, do I have a witness? Yeah. The Holy God against whom we have all sinned yeah. came by. Yeah. Holy Father to whom all are going to give an account one of these days. Yeah. The Heavenly Father. Yeah. He claimed, yeah. examined the blood yeah. that Jesus shed, yeah. and he pronounced it is sufficient. Yeah. And so God Himself stepped back, calls out one of earthquake angels, yeah. told earthquake angels, go down there yeah. to Jerusalem, yeah. place called Golgotha, yeah. walk into the garden. Yeah. 
Amen. I want you to shake the place up. Don't have a witness. Said it's going to be a mighty confrontation at that tomb yeah. on Sunday morning, yeah. resurrection morning. Yeah. That resurrection, you know, Father said, Amen. Y'all yeah. 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 can't give it to him. Yeah. I said, The resurrection yeah. uh, uh, in the Father yeah. said, Amen. Yeah. To the Son said, It is finished. Yeah. So when we talk about these three words. Right. He rose again. Yeah. It's very personal. Yeah. But it's also very powerful. Yeah. I'm almost through. Yeah. Yeah. He rose again. Yeah. On the Isle of Patmos, Jesus said to John, Revelation 1 and 2, I am yeah. he who lives yeah. and was dead yeah. Yeah. and behold, I'm alive forevermore. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have the keys of hell and, and of death. Yeah. Jesus saying that he lived. Yeah. He died. Yeah. He's living again. Yeah. He had the key yeah. Yeah. of hell and death. Yeah. Yeah. He is the keeper of the keys. Yeah. And I said, I gave out something powerful about that. Yeah. You have to keep in mind the power of the devil yeah. that was on this earth when Jesus came. Yeah. The devil had the power to demand the death of every believer. Yes. How do I know that? Because Romans 6 23 said, The wages uh -huh. of sin and death. Yes. And on the basis of God's word, yes. the devil could have demanded death. Uh -huh. So, as it get ready to close, when Jesus came to earth, yes. a titanic struggle began. Yes. Jesus invaded the earth. Yes. And the devil is the God of this world. Yeah. So Jesus took the devil uh -huh. and his own on his own terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus cast demons out of people. Yeah. He raised people yeah. from the dead. Yeah. He broke the grip that the devil had on their life. Yeah. He healed folks. Yeah. Don't have a witness. Yeah. He restored folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let me tell you something. The devil is not your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't play with him. The devil's purpose is not just to annoy you. The devil's purpose is to destroy you. You don't have a friend in the devil. Jesus conquered the devil in every hand. I don't carry a hill called Golgotha. The devil dealt Jesus a death blow. And the Son of God died. Yeah. They took the body of the Lord, yeah. put him in the tomb, yeah. and the devil thought it had him. Yeah. They rolled the stone oh, in front of the tomb. Yeah. They thought they had him. Yeah. They sealed the stone yeah. with a Roman seal. Yeah. They thought they had him. Yeah. The amen helped me somebody. Yeah. The whole weight of. Uh, uh, the Roman soldiers, yeah. amen, thought they had it. Yeah. The whole way the Roman Empire was leaning yeah. against that stone. Yeah. And the devils and imps of hell oh, yeah. were committed to keep Jesus in the grave. Yeah. The devil had him. Yeah. But the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, I said the Bible, not the Bible. They have a constitution in it. Yeah. The real Bible. Yeah. Not the Bible. Yeah. They have the Bill of Rights in it. Yeah. The real Bible. Yeah. Not the Bible. Yeah. Come on, hear me here. Yeah. They have the Pledge of Allegiance in it. Yeah. Not the Bible. Yeah. That has a man, God bless the USA. Yeah. But I'm talking about the Bible yeah. that will breathe yeah. into saints yeah. and they begin to write. Yeah. I got a witness. Yeah. Amen. But when Jesus uh, yeah. came out of the grave, yeah. he sticks his hand out to the devil yeah. and said, Give me the keys. Yeah. Come on, help me here. Yeah. The devil had to put the keys uh, in the hell and death in the hands yeah. of my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is the keeper of the keys, yeah. not the devil. 
is powerful too because it says he has the key of hell and death. Death is an enemy. Nothing pleasant about death. First Corinthians 15, 26 says he's the last enemy that will be short of death. Death is an enemy. I gotta go back. Death is an enemy. Death is a bully. Death reaches into your house, snatches from it. The most dearest and most precious to you. I gotta go back. Death goes walking down through the corridors of the hospital, stops at every door, leaves his calling card. A family of weeping in sorrow. Death raises a scepter. Amen. Towards a, a flying airplane. And the plane crashes. And death amidst the silent ruins. Walk supreme. Death is the enemy of us all. The death is an enemy that you got to face. Say amen. But it's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful uh, because right now, right now, on this Sunday morning, yeah. we have victory over death. Yeah. Death do not have the last word. Say amen. Yeah. He rose again. Yeah. It's personal. Yeah. It's powerful. Yeah. But it's practical. Yeah. Say amen. Yeah. Death. Yeah. I said death. Yeah. Get back. Yeah. Because the Bible said he rose again. Yeah. And what does that mean he rose again? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. It means that if you yeah. confess with your mouth yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart yeah. that God yeah. can raise him up from the dead, yeah. you will be saved. Yeah. You will be saved today. Yeah. That's what the resurrection is about. Yeah. Shout glory. Yeah. Shout glory. Yeah. I'm glad he was bad and he rose again. Shout yeah! Shout yeah! Yes! It'll be alright! He struck my heart! He gave me strength to stand this morning. Don't play with this thing. It's real. Way down in my soul. It's real. Mama knew it's real. Daddy knew it's real. But I know for myself. It's real. It's real in your heart. Come on, stand here with me. Come on, stand here. It's real. Say that. Until your bells ring out. It's real. Shout yeah. It's real. That I don't doubt the Lord. I know too much about it. Say it. He woke me up. Got me started to this house of prayer. Say it. And he rose again.
that on this day, yeah, yeah, yeah. this resurrection Easter Sunday yeah. of 2024, yeah. God, that you would search the world yeah. and draw them near. Yes, Lord. God, we lift up the name of the Savior. Yes, Lord. We know that we don't have the power to draw. Yes, Lord. But if we lift up the name of the Savior, yes, Lord. he will draw all men unto him. Yes, Lord. So we lift up Jesus right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we ask that your Holy Spirit would draw yes, from the uttermost part of yes, the world. Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. We thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. If you believe in your heart. Thank you, Lord. And declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Yeah. And that he died and was raised from the dead. Yes. Then you will be saved. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Yes, Lord. It's just a few words. Yes, Lord. And the Holy Spirit will take hold of you and lead you and guide you the rest of the way. Don't think about it. Don't delay. Don't second guess. Yes, Lord. We silence the lies of the enemy even right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. That they would only hear your truth and their right to salvation. It is our right to be saved. Because Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice. That's right. So we pray if you made that decision today, let us know and we will lead and guide you the rest of the way. Don't worry about what comes next. Yeah. Make the decision now. Yeah. And God will guide you the rest of the That's way. That's right. That is our prayer. We thank the Lord in advance. Thank you, Lord. On this resurrection Sunday. Thank you, Lord. We offer praise. We offer praise. Thank you, Lord.